Boy, how do I describe eggnog? It's a drink. Oh, yeah, that's a good spice. My mouth tastes like a freaking grandma's foyer on Christmas. Trickin' eggnog is like heaven. If heaven were one million tiny orgasms all over your body, you know, that's a heaven. That's a heaven. Trippin' on eggnog right now. See those pine cones. Why are there so many ornate tree branches here? We French vigorously when he's creamy. Creamy's a colloquial term for stagnant eggnog mouth. When he's screaming, his mouth feels like soft serve. Guess what? My mouth feels like velvet sex. See, when you drink eggnog at the volume that we do, uh, your mouth tends to be filled with mucus all day. Inevitably, to today's lunch. <laughs> we eat Szechuan wontons for lunch, not mucus. We carry these uh, little spit bags around. Um, if you swallow all your mucus, you'll, you'll have no room left for nog. You'll have a belly full of mucus. My mucus bag smells like wontons. Yum, yum. Drinking eggnog is not illegal, so why should I be ashamed? You know, eggnog is just the big red of milk. Big red is the eggnog of gum. Smart lady. You know, big red turns your breath into fire. I've seen the flames on the packaging. I don't know if it has to do with the devil. Not my problem. I hail Satan myself. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Drinking eggnog's not hurting anybody. You know, if anything, it's hurting me. The doctors have diagnosed me with bog mouth. I did go to jail, but it wasn't for eggnog. Because I called a cop Mr. Ding Dong, which I, uh, I think is very funny. Called him, hey, Mr. Ding Dong. Hey, what are you doing, Mr. Ding Dong? He'd tell me to stop, and I'd, it, it, Mr. Ding Dong was upset. Wait a second, hon. You told me you called him Mr. Ding Ding. God, I love this woman. She looks like a rabbit to me. She drinks so much eggnog, it coats her teeth, calcifies, and they grow. It's her holiday teeth. She's like a rabbit. Oh, isn't he sweet? Does our lifestyle make my wife and I murderers like John Wayne Gacy? I think not. I, I think not. Mass Gray 